Rob, thanks very much. It's a great night to go inside in Omaha, Nebraska. It's a little chilly out there. Luckily, inside the CHI Health Center, here's the Big East Big 12 battle as the clash between these two conferences continues in the friendly confines of the CHI Health Center with a great Blue Jays call home. Getting ready to take on the Oklahoma Sooners from the Big 12. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kevin Kugler. He's Bill Raftery. Welcome to Omaha, Nebraska, for a matchup between two teams that are going to get up and down the floor. If you like offense, stay tuned. Of course, they're similar in a lot of ways. Dribble drive, kick, but Balak, Mitch makes that three, dribbles, penetrates, sacrifices for this team. they got to watch out for him. It's a backcourt that's loaded for the Creighton Blue Jays as we take a look at the Greek and the Jeep Grand Cherokee starting lineups. And Brady Manick for Oklahoma is somebody Greg McDermott was very concerned about, his ability to shoot from the outside. Kev, okay, you got to run him off that line. He's playing at the five spot, so he will be a difficult matchup. You mentioned Mitch Ballack. Perhaps last year, it was not exactly a game to remember. In fact, it's a game he wanted to forget, but here we are bringing it up. 0 for 11 last year against Oklahoma. 0 for 9 from three-point land. And Last year, well, Brady Manick had a game to remember. 18 points, five rebounds in Oklahoma's win, 83 to 70 over the Jays in Norman. I just got a note from the Ballack family saying, thanks for bringing up the past. <laughs> And I'm sure they're thrilled to think about that one again. That game did not start well for Creighton no. last year. They missed their first 12 three-pointers. And right now, Creighton goes. A little bit of it. Kevin Goodwin. Trying to post up Ballack, who's played the post position defensively. A nice front job. And a foul oh, underneath. A cheap one early. Mm, they can't afford it either. Christian Bishop with the foul. There's Lon Kruger, the head coach of the Sooners in his ninth season at the helm. Take him out. They're not fooling around. And I was thinking today, and we didn't get a chance to chat about it, like it, he should just avoid any contact for at least 10 minutes. <laughs> Denzel Mahoney making his Creighton debut. You heard the roar from the crowd. They've been waiting for this transfer from Southeast Missouri State to get into a game. And they talk about his length, his ability to guard people. This kid's great with the bounce. Reeves, clever. Here's Ballack getting started early. That one rims out. And it'll belong to Creighton. Denzel Mahoney was a big-time scorer at Southeast Missouri State. Those numbers in his last full season on the court. Yeah, pretty impressive, and he's got that ability to get to the free-throw line. Like Greg McDermott saying, even in practice, he does incur fouls against it. Mahoney attacking quickly. Manic was there. A do little, very tough matchup. Great with the bounce. Very creative, and now this year making threes. Tipped out. Good hands by Damian Jefferson trying to deny the pass to Christian Doolittle. Guard dominated. This is almost like a faculty game when you think of it size-wise. <laughs> uh, a little bit better than faculty play. Depends on the faculty. That's true. This is Jamal Bienemy. Uh, this is a kid they got to get going. Really, I thought played well at the end of last year. That's his shot. Mm. Just mentioned it. It was a big concern for Greg McDermott. Absolutely. You got to hug him, make him put it on the deck. Dribble drive. Nobody in the center spot. He get some great opportunities at the rim, and if they help, the kick for the open three. He's got the bounce to beat him. Tegorowski on the drive, the little flip, good ball fake by Jefferson to get the open look. That's exactly what they do beautifully. Nobody in the center spot. If you overhelp, you pay dearly. They work today on how to handle Reeves on those ball screens. They will trap it. Panic in the corner, right up on top of him is Tyshawn Alexander. Stifling defense from Zegarowski as the enemy launches and cannot hit. He struggled from behind the arc He's all year. Continue to struggle. That's four for 23 from out there. Jefferson a launch. This time it won't go with Manic grabbing the board. A terrific balance, though, to the gate. Early opportunities here by Creighton. Doolittle very good in that foul area once he gets a touch. 
Here's the enemy trying to get the hot hand early, driving inside. Nothing doing with Jefferson down there. And gang rebound them when you're undersized. Here's Mahoney, the three. Is a J. And what did Greg say to you today? I hope he makes his first shot <laughs> just to relax him. You got your wish, big fella. 40% three-point shooter at Southeast Missouri State. Uh, they couldn't wait to get him. End of the semester. This is where Lon has to go, I think. He can dominate people. Post up. Christian Could not call to. Yeah, Christian Doolittle says no problem. Yep. It's on the official with that new flop. I was going to say, everybody knows the flop. Doolittle then with a rebound off the miss. This kid's improvement is incredible. He'll try the three, and he'll hit. He hit a three last year. Total game, doesn't he? Oh, my goodness. 0 for 4 from deep a year ago for Doolittle. That's his 11th made three already this season. You really got to stay at home defensively. Zagorowski eight to shoot. Here's Tyshawn Alexander with the answer. You will not see a three-second violation, by the way. No post-up game. A good use of the floor, too. And that, this is where Manic could really help him. See that mismatch size-wise? Big kid. Good deep and not too bad around the rim. We're losing Christian Bishop early with that quick foul. Hurts him. Absolutely. They are undersized. And really, a lot of guys playing an awful lot of minutes for Creighton. Zagorowski, Alexander, Alec, all over 30-plus minutes a game. Here's Jefferson. Shot clock at 6. Alexander. Lost it, got it back, and the rebound to Oklahoma. Boy, excellent defense by Oklahoma. They are prepared. Doolittle, he lost it. Good defense by Mahoney. Real great hands. Got numbers. Forget the 0 for 11, right? <laughs> Payback is tough. Mitch Ballack on the board. 12-10, Creighton. But there's so many similarities in these teams. The ability to stretch the defense, they can beat you with the bounce in a lot of spots. Pretty. Very nice drive and dish. The enemy to Manic. Nice field. Big guard. Oh, Willie, how does he get free? Oh, my goodness. You can't leave him out there. Ballack with a grin a mile wide going up the floor. <laughs> Sound lady. They missed their first 12 threes last year. They're five for eight are the Jays to start well, tonight. Well, the Aaron Norman, and I was a little heavier. <laughs> well, you are right. Look how they hug him. They got the little invading the cylinder. I hope I don't do that to you during the course of the evening. I'm up my hoodie. You think they're happy to have him back? The big fella uh, does a lot of things. And what a welcome relief, too. More minutes than Doolittle does a lot with the ability to make the deep one in. Why not? Get number 24. You know he can knock that deep one down. FS1 College Hoops is sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. Holiday season. Omaha, Nebraska. Midtown Crossing in Omaha all lit up for the holidays. 15 to 12 Creighton. They're lighting things up for the holidays as well from behind the arc for Greg McDermott's team. The motto is let it fly with the Jays. And, and they, they sure do. Fly. How do you know so much about downtown? I'm very surprised. You're very seldom here. Part of the uh, Omaha Chamber of Commerce. Like, this guy's got a great offensive mind, Greg McDermott. And the kids never look over. They play with extreme confidence on the shot selection. Don't have to worry. A free mind. That number we saw for both teams, you're going to have to free your defense all the way out to the three-point line tonight. Exactly. Jalen Hill on the floor now. Victor E. Walker off the bench. That won't go. And the rebound tipped out of bounds by Kirk Weth. The 6'9 junior. 
I didn't expect to see much of him. Did you with this? No, and Kelvin, with him in, Kelvin Jones comes well, that, in. This may the be the matchup. only matchup we exactly. see tonight. Jones plays under the rim, has some post up moves. Cross to a ball screen. Matched up against Austin Reeves, the Wichita State transfer. Zagorowski in the corner against Jalen Hill. No breathing room on the shooters right now. Mahoney launching a little strong, and Reeves the rebound. Now Reeves attacking, driving inside, lost it. Hoped free. Reeves quiet so far, Rav, only 0 for 1. And a nice job collectively on the defense with that arms out there. Oh, he's forcing the issue here. Weff with a rebound for a moment. Bodies everywhere. Possession arrow gonna, favors great. They're going to jump ball. You know, Lon mentioned to both of us today about shot selection. Sometimes it, he, he didn't mention a player, but that play by Reeves is a good example. Find somebody when you get in the lane. There's a big meeting of the summit. Maybe a little kick outside. And Mitchell on the floor now. Very aggressive. Great defensively. Not much of a three-point shooter, but gets in the lane. 0 for 7 so far from 3 for Sharif Mitchell, the freshman from right here in Omaha. Part of a legacy of great basketball players in his family in Omaha. Mahoney, he's been active early, muscles his way to the free throw line, which is something he did with great aplomb at Southeast Missouri State. How many, uh, where did he rank? 34th in the nation That's pretty in free cut. throw attempts as a sophomore. And the last time he was on the floor was as a sophomore at Southeast Missouri State. And, and Kevin, you can tell that he's been practicing with the team. He's very comfortable, They're not force feeding anything. And I think they got a lot of respect for him, judging by his play early here and theirs. They would have loved to have gotten him on the floor for the Texas Rio Grande Valley game the other night, but you have to be a day after the semester to be eligible when you're a second semester recruit, and that was the day the semester ended. Why would they make that adjustment and go back, these Jesuits? Let the semester end earlier. Don't they realize basketball's important? <laughs> exactly. Open three for Alondis Williams not going to go, but a rebound carries into the arms of Kelvin Jones of Creighton. Look at Zagorowski looking to push all the way. Eyes up, Raph. Absolutely. Great feel for the game. He's got range, too. And a closeout. Yep. It's amazing how guys just don't really skip or jump stop defensively. The closeout costs you dearly. E. Walker, a little overzealous on the closeout here. Look at the closeout from a walker. Just a little bit late. You know the most amazing thing I've seen in recent years? Zagorowski San Diego State game where he was totally off in shooting. And then the next day against, if not the best, one of the best defensive teams, Texas Tech, comes out and lights it up. But the one thing about the San Diego State game, he didn't take bad shots. And he never hung his head, and he wasn't, you know, next time up, next play, the opportunity presented itself, he took it. At 32 the very next night against Chris Beard in Texas Tech. Unbelievable. It's a short list of guys who put that kind of production on oh. a Texas Tech team. And plus, they got with 85 points, which is unheard of. I guess Virginia last year got 89 in overtime in the big game. The enemy with 10 to shoot. 8-0 great run. This is good D right here. Excellent. The enemy, a contested three, won't go. Well, as Matt told us today, this is we're a defensive program, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he did smile a little bit. <laughs> well, at this pace, the problem defensively, sometimes you're at a disadvantage. A quick shot, you don't get back in balance. So uh, they can score, and they do it often enough. Jays on an 8-0 run, 20-12 the lead for Creighton, 11-48 remaining in the first half here in Omaha for the Creighton Blue Jays. This is the start of what they have said is a real big week for them as they try to make their final non-conference pitch 
to bolster that resume for the postseason. And it is a big week. Oklahoma and then on the road at Arizona State. Boy, they have stepped up with that schedule, though. Impressive. Uh, I happen to be at that Michigan game. Uh, played well. Of course, Michigan, I think, was at the top of the game. You've seen them early in the year, too. Of course, Texas Tech, the local rivalry here. Did you do that game by I chance? did not do that game. Wow. Our good friend Nick Ball was on the call for that one. Our hey, FS1 Nick. colleague. By the way, Nick is doing radio tonight. He asked me how I felt before the game. Yeah. He was concerned that maybe uh, he would have to pinch hit. It was wise for you to turn down the beverage he offered you before the game. I'm not 100% sure what was in there. Are you sure I turned it down? <laughs> good hands by Oklahoma's Jalen Hill. There he is. Manic back on the floor, the three short, and the rebound to Tyshawn Alexander. A late closeout by Denzel. Nevertheless, he challenged. Christian Bishop back out on the floor for the Blue Jays after a quick early foul. He was down in one minute. And Mahoney works his way back to the line with a foul on Alondis Williams. Did you see him attack the physicality of this kid with those shoulders? We play with such confidence. It's an early stroke. And just watch the end of this, though. <laughs> the elbow to the face. Call the orthodox. He is long, Raph. Though they say the wingspan's almost seven feet. Six foot five, 225 pound junior, the transfer from Southeast Missouri State. Making a splash in his debut. He's already got seven. That close up reminded me of myself when I was younger. <laughs> Same number. The enemy. Nice hand. Mitchell with that little slice. That's what he has to do, I think. Dribble drive until you get that confidence in the deep shot. The enemy in the hill. The enemy, you think, his uncle's the uh, offensive coordinator, right? Yep. How about that? Do you need one with that quarterback? I think you need one just in name only. <laughs> Look at this kid. away for Christian Doolittle. That snaps the Creighton 10-0 run. He's so good from that elbow. Look at his blow by. A little archery on the deck. They have been able to contain his dribble drive at that time. He really picks his spots well, doesn't he? He doesn't force the issue. There's Doolittle trying to get it going. The step back from the elbow is good for Christian Doolittle. You mentioned his game and the improvement. He's taken huge strides. Monster steps. And playing with such confidence. Receiving the shooting, uh, Lama was saying he shot well last year in practice, but didn't take the deep one to a game. Two true road games this year for Doolittle. He scored 50 points, and there's Mahoney baiting another Sooner into a foul. This is how he got to the foul line over and over and over again at Southeast Missouri State. And Kevin, you know what? Shocking. A post-up. Not a dribble drive kick. A little large physique able to pump fake, get him up, deliver the goods at the free throw line. Yeah, I think Greg McDermott expects him, as his game develops, to be able to post up smaller guards. I don't know that they have him in mind to post up six, seven forwards. I, I think he's so confident he can get away with it. Plus, the, as you mentioned, the length. He can elevate over people his size. A bad debut. Eight points for Denzel Mahoney. So much for the concern about would he be a little apprehensive. <laughs> The offensive rebound to Tyshawn Alexander. Out to Mahoney. The three won't go. Hey, he, he looks like he's been playing with them for a couple of years. Mannix got the mismatch. Williams will pull the trigger, and he hits the three. That's a big bucket for but Oklahoma. They were really struggling. He was, what, three for 19? Prior to that, 15%. Just four points in the loss last weekend at Wichita. Mahoney tries again, and he'll the rebound. Let it come to you a little bit right now, Denzel. There's Williams. Maddox got a mismatch against Mitchell. Muscled it up, and he'll go to the line. Uh, they did real smart. He, away from the double. Quick reaction. It's a little bit like Villanova right now defensively. Not afraid to switch. Have a little guy and a big guy. Knowing your partners are going to cover for you. Zagorowski with his first. Third team foul for Creighton. Five have been whistled on the Sooners in this first half. Greg said he recruited this young man. Upper Chalman, his sophomore and junior year. 
I can see why. He looks like a guy who would fit into the Greg McDermott oh, with this system. Oh, my goodness. First, Lon's got his club in the NC with such regularity, no matter where he's been. With two Final Fours. Tournament six of the last seven years at Oklahoma. Of course, had that great run with Buddy Heald and company a couple boy, of years back. Boy, could he shoot it. Still shooting it. There's the mismatch they were trying to get. And what a reaction by Doolittle. Alexander right down the lane to the rim. And that's all because of that activity on the opposite side. Open three for Austin Reeves. Good rebound by Doolittle. Came from the top of the key. Williams. Good look. Couldn't get it. Rebound tip to Jefferson. Jays by six. Well, this is where you got to get back. Transition D. Nice look. Good recovery by Oklahoma. I know Lawrence has done a pretty good job keeping this club outside. Tough shot. And Ballack was fouled. Second time today that a three-point shooter's been fouled by the Sooners. This from Alondis Williams. And the amazing thing about this kid, Mitch Ballack, he can go right and steady himself and still get a decent look. Second foul on Williams. So a little foul trouble. We've talked about depth with these teams. This is not an especially deep Oklahoma team. Their starters over the last two games have played over 83% of the available minutes. So Lon Kruger hasn't had to go too deep on that bench for too long. Right, and he, he likes playing. He's quick to the rim, runs the floor real well. Pretty good size defensively. Davion, though, the freshman Davion Harmon comes in to replace. He's got a big upside. One of the highest recruits they've had. Terrific getting into the lane. Played well this homecoming, I believe. That, yeah. At 23 in his debut. Quick throw for Bienemy, who has struggled and has continued to struggle for behind the arc this year. Let it come to you. Too good. Bishop against Manic. Bishop again, a little high off the window. Well, he's doing a pretty good job staying at home on dribble drive. A little nickel dimer out there. Reeves so clever with the bounce. I'm sure he's glad to be here and not at Wichita State. In terms of playing against the yes, day, yes. I mean, nothing against Wichita State, but the, uh, the crowd was perhaps not as welcoming to him and his return as it was when he played for the Shockers the first two years of his career. They were robust. <laughs> and got after it. Reminding him that you don't leave home. No, they were starting to see him go. I get the same kind of reaction when I walk in my house. <laughs> a little mismatch again, but Ballack, good footwork, fronty, now they switch back. Harmon working against Mahoney. Leaning inside, the freshman... Got in there, couldn't finish. Jefferson will push it up the floor. Good kick back. Here's Mitchell. Alexander should have taken it, I thought. Jefferson, way off the mark. The extra pass to Mitchell. He's not going to jack, jack the deep three. Alexander could have rung it up. Look at this scouting report, though. Do they know who the shooters are? Oh boy. Mannix got a shadow every time he touches the ball. Fade away, two won't go. And the rebound to Mitchell. And Ballack with a good check out, too. Eight point great lead. Mitchell on the attack. Mahoney will drive. And Manic the rebound. He likes to freeze, shoot it. You got to be ready for it. And he's got the disadvantage size wide with Mitchell. What a. Good read. And the first three for the leading scorer, Austin Reeves, gets Oklahoma back within five. He's going to be a really good player, but the dribble drive opportunity and fitting it at the rim, pretty solid. The perimeter play, big time tray, a little nylon. Reeves delivers. Santa gets a little aggressive with the presence here in Omaha. I mean, you, 
You be, you better be good. <laughs> You're on the naughty list. That, that, that's not going to go well for you. Saturday, Fox is the only place to see the nation's new number one team, Kansas, taking on 18th ranked Villanova. It's a game we usually see come tournament time. But the action tips off at 11:30 a.m. Eastern, only on Fox and the Fox Sports app. That'll be one to watch. No question about it. The Big East Big 12 battle. There's the rundown so far. Oklahoma Creighton tonight, Kansas, Villanova, and Texas Providence, both on Fox coming up this weekend. Great taste for teams, I think, to getting ready for the, the regular season and, of course, uh, the conference season. And then when you think of the NCAA, these are great wins. I mean, and they all count. Greg changed the lineup a little bit. Some guys being a little more aggressive. A lot of empty trips. I think Oklahoma's defense is the reason. Oklahoma's defense keeping them in the game right now. Oh, pretty on the time. How about that? You always got to be ready for the wise old Al on the sideline. <laughs> An empty side, step and go. He really comes up with some stuff. Harmon, the air ball from the corner. Here's Mahoney looking to push. Ballack with short. He got foul. Another foul. Oh, it's an offensive foul on Mitch Ballack. After the shot, they're saying that leg kick. Uh, one of those points of emphasis, you might say. Uh, like the flop. Let's see if he does a little dance move here. Oh, the follow through. He isn't right to come down. That's one for an argument. Uh, Doolittle, I like him right at that foul line if he gets some touches to him. Armin thought about it. Didn't hit it. Alexander the rebound. Thought about it a little too long, yep. it seemed like, right? Enzo Mahoney with eight points in his debut for the Blue Jays. Jefferson working inside against Doolittle. He grabs another rebound. That's seven in the first half. The ball's not moving as well for Creighton. Manic with the mismatch. Direct line pass. Going against Alexander, and the hook is good. Well, I have to apologize. I haven't seen him do too many post-ups, but can I get in position to dominate? Mahoney the three. The ball moves up. The extra pass. Get those puppies organized. Denzel. He's not an actor. He's legit. Going to get some sort of an award for tonight if he keeps this up 11 in his debut. He's going to get an Academy Award. We'll give him something. <laughs> Much better job. Post up defense there. Automatic switch. to get what they want. And this is typical Lon for those NBA days. The enemy still unable to find the range. 0 for 5 tonight. Ballack. Well, you expect those to go down, don't you? Sure do. Off the dribble. This is where he's improved. Boy, is he tough off the bounce. A little kiss. Doolittle does plenty. Zagorowski on the drive finds Alexander for the open three. Creighton always seems to have an answer. They do. That dribble drive, you open up, you pay. There's Doolittle on the attack again. Just so good with the bounce and his strength. Just owns that area, doesn't they? Oh, 13 for Christian Doolittle. It's, it's like almost NBA-ish, isn't he? Three he toys. He plays like a senior. The only senior on this Oklahoma roster. Amazing. 15 to shoot. Zagorowski back over to Jefferson for three. Jefferson one for four tonight. Eventually the, the uh, nice little dribble drive and help. He makes tough shots, that kid Reeves. Alexander likes the matchup against Doolittle, took in baseline, but couldn't finish it off on the rim. A two tight under the rim. And their numbers. Armin all the way in. That won't go. Ballack the rebound. And they got five against three. And Ballack just needed one. How about the blow by? Woo. 
Oklahoma actually looks a little winded right now, and therefore the timeout plus to silence this crowd. They are fun to watch. I don't know if I want to play against them. <laughs> 39-32, Blue Jays with the advantage. Marcus Zegarowski, the good find for Alexander in the corner for three. And then the third member of that three-guard trio, Mitch Ballack, finishing at the rim. Rob, still with you. And coming up on the Jeep Halftime Report, the Big East leading scorer, Marcus Howard and Marquette in action. The Hoyas' undermanned run continued. And number five, Ohio State, they started slow. And roll. Kevin, Bill, we'll see you guys at the break. All right, Rob, thanks very much. A 39-32 lead here for Creighton. Oklahoma hanging around in this first half because the play of Christian Doolittle has been superb. He's so impressive. He just understands pace, uh, the ability to use his body, terrific handle, just physically imposing. Kiss in that town, Omaha, the boot, and that's that. McDermott step back. <laughs> we used to do that in the lane. We've seen that a few times in this building. It's been a two-man show for Oklahoma. Raptor Little and Manic with 24 points and 11 rebounds. The rest of the team, and that includes leading scorer Austin Reeves, eight points on three of 19 shooting. And inhaling a little bit, too, because of the pace of the game. Let's see if Manic can get himself, particularly in the low box area, to do some damage on these automatic switches on the ball screen. E. Walker back in the game. Alondis Williams back out there with two fouls as well. To your point about the weariness of Oklahoma. Sure. Uh, Reeves has got to do some damage, I think. Get himself free. Nice pop. Williams driving inside. Got the roll. Pretty impressive. Alondis playing with two fouls. Aggressive even with the two. Confidence. No ball screen and roll. They left the lob to Bishop. Here's the slip. Manic recovered nicely, and then Ballack stepped out of bounds. How about today's practice? Greg was talking about the sideline. You know, that three-point line's extended this year, and shooters have had trouble. And they've been a big emphasis in great practices, those shooters, about not taking that step but sliding Sliding. into the shot so that they don't step out of bounds over there. Absolutely. Thought of that until he brought that up, but it's a great point. That corner I've is seen, a, I've seen a lot of teams yep. step out of bounds. Nice give. E. Walker trying to finish through contact. And the rebound out of bounds to Creighton. Yeah, Manic knocked it out. He seems a little bit tired too. Which does impact your shooting. Here comes Mahoney back into the game. Denzel Mahoney in his debut for the Jays with 11 points tonight. Christian Doolittle returns for the Sooners. E. Walker sits down. Doolittle is very similar to Denzel, don't you think? Physically. And that's the matchup as we get down to this end. We saw Mahoney posted him up earlier. Through the foul. Alexander from the elbow. Nice check out collectively. Now Williams looking to pace. Williams going in. Oh, and oh. Off the rebound. How impressive was that? A little Euro. Alondis Williams brings Oklahoma within three. Zegarowski around the screen. And Manic gets the rebound off the front rim Kara. Manic was just a little hand heads threw him off. Reeves against Zegarowski got the up and under move. And he'll go to the line for a pair. He does not give up in that pursuit. That box area creates a post-up. Over at the other end, that little dribble drive. A blow by. Able to take the hit and finish. How about that one? A little dance move. A little lingerie in the deck. A little production from Alondis Williams on a night they needed. As Zagorowski picks up his second foul to send Reeves to the line. How about they have not been home for a game? November 21st, is it? Oklahoma. 45-day stretch. They've had two home games in that span. Well, you know, I enjoy your company, but I don't think I could handle you in 40 <laughs> I don't think we'd get along. But Lon was saying to them, he thinks it, it's really helping them get to know one another. The difficulties of playing on the road. Plus, think of the hotel points, right? That's uh, what, You're always thinking of the family. One-point lead. Creighton 
has seen Oklahoma roar back. Alexander's three is short and a foul underneath. That's going to go on Bishop, on Bishop, I believe. Or is it on Manning? Are they staying there? Nobody's moving yet. I think they're going to look at this one to see if there was an elbow involved oh, in this okay. foul. Everybody's heading to the bench. They're going to check the monitor to see about the elbow. Oh, the arm went out, but I, I think that's a basketball play. I think you're right. It may be a foul on Manning. Common foul. See, the old days, if there wasn't any blood, you wouldn't make the yes. call. No one, no one hit the deck. No cut. It is the foul on Manic. His first personal foul. That's 17 fouls on Oklahoma. So a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Christian Bishop, who's a 52% shooter. Yeah, that's one area he does struggle. They've gotten great mileage out of this guy. Very agile, mobile. Christian Bishop really stepped up late in the season a year ago. That's where the Jays thought they might really have something with this young man. And they do. You know, it's just he's asked to do so many things and compete against people taller, stronger. Neperson, obviously, out for the year, it sounds like, a big-time contributor. But they have done well considering size discrepancies. Report game. Reeves working, gets past Mahoney, and there's a foul going the other way. He's got to stop. He got a little too deep. I think he had a kick out pass to Manning, too, if he had just stuck a peek. Uh, so easy. Uh, for the officials, that is. <laughs> you can't make it easy for them as a basketball player. They're going to go two for one here. You don't see a lot of college teams good at the two-for-one. Creighton's one of those teams. Alexander with the three, not going to go. And the rebound tipped out by Bishop. Off Manic, it'll stay with the J. That's what he does. He plugs, contributes any way he can. They've had some good looks, Creighton, and not, not shooting it as well as you would expect. 7 of 19 from three now for the Jays. And a foul on the screen. That's two on Bishop. Anytime he hand off, they're calling that this year. Trying to steal some time. That is an automatic anymore. Like that rolling screen on the handoff. Boy. Look pretty good. Yeah. Pretty Not a lot decent. There. Yeah. Oklahoma will hold for virtually the last shot. It's about a second and a little more than that difference between game and shot clock here. Two-man play, ball screen. I would think Manic would pop out. I, I would love Doolittle to be involved in this. Reeves with the three. A little strong. Manic with the tip. Here comes Alexander. Half-court heat. That's good if it goes. And halftime is here in Omaha. Pretty exciting, though. Both clubs now backing off. Ringing the bell pretty good. We said there'd be offense in this game, and there was. Five players and double figures in the first half. Some impressive individual ability, knocking shots down. Look forward to the next. End of the first half. End of the first half. Our score, Creighton 41, Oklahoma 38. We'll send you to Rob Stone and Steve Lavin in Los Angeles with the Jeep Grand Cherokee halftime report right after this. Southeast Missouri State, Denzel Mahoney went for over a thousand points in two seasons. After his first 20 minutes as a Creighton Blue Jay, he's put up a team high 11. Creighton on top by three. Rob Stone, Steve Lavin, welcoming you to the Jeep Grand Cherokee Halftime Report. Well, Greg McDermott's steady stewardship received an early holiday bonus tonight as he was finally able to unwrap the skill set of transfer Denzel Mahoney, which kicks off our Jeep Grand Cherokee highlights from the first half. Yeah, Oklahoma knew it was coming. They watch game film. They do their scouting, yet so difficult as you see Creighton just tee it up. Uh, Alexander comfortable from distance and 
Look at Balik uh, bringing the ball straight down the floor. Again, slow closeout by the Sooners. So seven three-pointers uh, for Creighton. But Oklahoma, a good counter. They're playing through their bigs in terms of Doolittle and Manic, who combined for 10 to 12, 24 points from that front line. Those are their two returning leading scores from last year's team. So a good counter. We got a little chess match. Yeah, we got a here. good one, don't we? Creighton started we their first five made field goals, all triples. Kind of set the tone in a That's nice, what they do. nice Let little it fly way, is right? The hashtag. Yeah. yeah. And this is the. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the hashtag. Beer, I remember, let's separate I remember those two. My friend Marquette, speaking of beer drinking, winners of five of their last six. They hosted Grambling State in their third to last game before conference play fired up. Marcus Howard had 11 in the first half. Marquette up 14. As quick a trigger as there is in the country. You like, half. you like the uniforms. Got glow in the dark. Yeah. McDonald's. It's nice. All American uniforms. Caught my eye. What you referenced earlier. Earlier tonight here on FS1, Georgetown. Undermanned. Doesn't matter. Omar Yurt seven. Double double at halftime. Finished with 22 and 13. Seven foot, 264 pounds. How about McClung? <gasps> Get up, young man. Instagram sensation. Take that. <laughs> That's right from last season. I forgot that line. Florida. Taking on Providence, this one at the Barclays Center. Terry Blackshear only had seven points. There's two of them. Well, Florida beginning to round into form. Preseason number six, taking some lumps, but uh, their upside intriguing. 32-point loss. That is the worst of the season for the Friars. Fifth-ranked Buckeyes, their quest to remain unbeaten at home. It was helped by a Caleb Wesson double-double. Their highlights coming up next. Doubleheader tomorrow night here on FS1. Up first, Xavier, Western Carolina, then St. John's taking on Albany. Coverage begins 6.30 Eastern on FS1 and on the Fox Sports app. Ohio State, they thought they'd be number one in this week's AP poll, and they lost at Minnesota over the weekend, hosting Southeast Missouri State today. Kyle Young, one of four Buckeyes in double figures tonight. Nifty maneuvering along the baseline, exhibiting the left. A little transition ball here, DJ Carton. Mm. Throw it down. 32-point cruise control win. Number 13, Dayton, hosting North Texas. The alley-oop, Obi Toppin. It's playing over the top. Throw it to the big fella. Let the big dog eat. Most efficient offensive team in the country. If you look at the numbers, the Dayton Flyers. Jalen Crutcher had 16. There's three of them. Flyers win it by 13. North Florida on the road in Tallahassee, taking on the 19th-ranked Seminoles, MJ Walker. Oh, he's got a lane. Dribbles oh. by Walker and he throws it. And one. Another deep one. Leonard Hamilton, Florida State team. Length, athleticism, harass their opponents, high percentage finishes as well. You say length? What are they doing at the halftime in Omaha? They've got magic. Is it a magic show? Watch out! How does she change her dress that fast? Impressive. Brad, do you know? Inside? Fantastic. Dollar beer and Fantastic. Holiday season in the old market in Omaha, Nebraska, where the Big East Big 12 battle continues. We welcome you back to the eastern edge of the state of Nebraska. We welcome you back with our first half stats sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. Oklahoma shooting 43%, Creighton 34%, but those points in the paint, the edge goes to Oklahoma in that category. And that was an edge that they exploited as the half went along. Alongside Bill Raftery, I'm Kevin Kugler. That really helped Oklahoma get back into this ballgame. Uh, they sure did. Really solid defense. I thought they played the three-point line extremely well. They were solid at that end. And that post-up game, of course, uh, just incredible when you think of the low post game, the solid basketball, the ability to make a three. They got some kids who can make some shots, too. Oh, and they added a new kid for the Creighton Blue Jays to the lineup. Denzel Mahoney, a second semester eligible player. Not a bad debut in how his about first the, half. How about the first shot, Kevin? They get those puppies organized and, and nail that jumper. It's another look, clean look here. Be interesting to see how they mesh in the second half, Creighton. And on the other side, uh, Doolittle, who really has had a solid line, six for six, one for one, you name it. Just so good with the bounce. I can expect him 
to get a lot more opportunities this half. 13 points, 8 rebounds for Doolittle, 11 points, 4 rebounds for Brady Manick. Denzel Mahoney in his great debut with 11. Tyshawn Alexander adding 10 for the Blue Jays, as did Mitch Ballack with 10 points. And for Oklahoma, another guy who's got to get going is their leading scorer, Austin Reeves, was just 5 of 13 at Wichita. He's the third leading scorer in the Big 12 Conference, but 2 for 6 in that first half for 7 points. And some tough shots, too. Let's see if they play within the framework. Here's the guy with the dribble. Here's Reeves, first touch of this second half. Well, dribble to the post up. Nice look. Little strong Zagorowski with the board. How unselfish is Doolittle? Well, he might take his guy with a great find and a good look. Possible too unselfish at times? Yeah, I, I probably. It's just a terrific talent. So impressive. Zagorowski with the spin. Bishop able to tip it to keep it alive, but Reeves plucks it away. Oh, should have grabbed it with two hands and got up strong. Here's Reeves in the open floor. He's got a little pistol peak this game, doesn't he? A little bit of bobbing with the basketball as the three is an air ball from Davion Harmon. Long push ahead. Bishop oh. on the floor. What a catch and a difficult release as well, but a wonderful full court pass. Big guy can run. That's what Greg McDermott misses when Bishop gets into foul trouble. It's been a, an issue for at times for Christian Bishop, but they love to have him on the floor running. He's going to have a big impact on the game from his screening and rolling as well. Didn't want the shot after the last miss. Shot clock's down to four. They've got a hurry. Reeves will launch the deep one. Manic with the rebound and a foul on Damian Jefferson. So the one way of holding a guy, he can't jump. Just terrific understanding of where to go and take off. And look at it, rim to rim. And Bill on it. That was a beautiful arrow, by the way. It really was. And the ability to get down the floor. So impressive. Much like Bill Russell used to do in the old days. Sooners cold to start 0 for 4 to start this one. Bishop got a good feed from Zagorowski and then tipped out of bounds off the Sooners. Really a nice find by Zagorowski, too. Tough in traffic to protect that basketball. But they were diligent today going over their out of bounds, weren't they? Oh, my goodness. Spent half their shoot around the practice before a game on that as Alexander launches and hits his defender went down. And a nice screen there. I believe it was Bishop that set it up. Bishop making some early second half plays to help his team out. The bounce out to be enemy. Oh, goodness. You can just see by the body language, he didn't want that. Oh, Good what a pass! Zagorowski with a dime on the hop to Jefferson. Woo! A skimmer! Uh, you make shots at one end, you don't at the other, you're going to pay the price. The ability to run the floor. This team is unselfish. How about that one? Hot skimmer. The hands to finish. Just run the floor, they find you. It's a Thursday night showdown as 7th Rank Maryland takes on Seton Hall. All the action tips off at 6.30 Eastern on FS1 and the Fox Sports app. Seton Hall trying to bounce back after a loss to Rutgers in that in-state battle last week. And meanwhile, for Maryland, Coach Turgeon certainly got himself an excellent squad. College Park, 7th in the country in the new AP Top 10 rankings. Of course, the fifth new number one team of the year, Kansas, will be on Fox coming up this weekend. And, and you mentioned Maryland just for a second. I mean, really, Kentale and Smith, I think it's Stick, I guess is the nickname. They, they've just stamped in Cowan, one of those guys that just penetrates and, and does so much damage. Ayala, this is really a good basketball team that Mark has. And Chris Powell with the concussion difficulties, injuries, Seton Hall somewhat decimated. There's Doolittle, first miss of the night. And not a bad deal, too, out of the timeout. Get him involved. Ballack. Jays have matched their largest lead of the night at 10. 
Zagorowski probing, and he threw it away. Nice shot by Reeves jumping that passing lane, too. Reeves crossover to get a little freedom from Alexander. Tough shot. Manic there with the finish and the foul. Boy, that dribble drive gets Manic's man over to help out. Even though you're disappointed if you're Reeves, not to finish the deal, but Manic they're doing some lot of damage around the rim. Here, here comes this guy to help out. And Bishop in that case. All of a sudden, number three. So Christian Bishop with his third foul sits down. Denzel Mahoney returns to the ball game. And Brady Manick to the line to try to convert on the three-point play, and he does. And what Mahoney does there, he extends to make it less minutes for different guys, a little deeper. Nobody over 6'5 on the floor, by the way. Oh, Manic, excuse me. An empty side here. Nice play. Degorowski got the look and the finish. And nobody communicated, too. Really faulty defense, but a great read by Zagorowski. Ten-point lead again for the Blue Jays. There's the mismatch. Nice poke away by Zagorowski. Alec right there to start it up the floor for the Blue Jays. Had to get on him early. Mahoney back to Balak, open three. They forgot if he made the pass. Boy, the pressure they put you on, on under with the bounce. Largest lead of the night for the Jays as Doolittle runs in and a foul. Well, Doolittle is strong, too. He's saying on the floor. He saw that opening, he wanted to take advantage of Balak with the push. Being unselfish, the extra dribble drive, collapsed the D. Get him organized! Big time south ball delivery. Tenth consecutive game with two or more three-pointers. First great player since Ethan Rodney back in well, five, six years ago now. How about his game against the ball last year? Well, that's a good post-up. And there to clean it up. 11 for 12 for three against DePaul a year ago. That'll work. A wide open middle. If you don't contain the dribble, you're going to pay. And to shoot for Creighton. Zagorowski deep. Oh, my and goodness. Another foul on a three. That's Alondis Williams who commits his third. And it's the third time a Creighton shooter has been fouled shooting a three tonight. Well, the, the coach said you got to hug him. They make those threes. Don't give him any air time. Creighton about to go to the line for three free throws after being fouled for the third time tonight shooting a three. Well, they do test you, though. you got to close out or that's going to happen. Uh, not good communication, particularly with a guy like Malik, but catch and shoot, you can't permit that. And too many of these opportunities have frustrated some sound trips defensively, uh, but just not talking to one another. And here, as you mentioned, the third time, Stepping out on a guy and not under control. And who better to step to that free throw line? Segarowski tonight, three for three at the line. He really plays with a great feel for the game. Understanding and uh, his pace, the change of pace, and his handle. I mentioned Nick Baum before. I've heard him do games here. And, he just sets his man up, puts him on a string, backs up, and then blows by. And for Marcus Zagorowski, you could pretend he's one of the best players in college basketball that the average fan doesn't know about yet. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, the, the league does, and the country does. It's a hitty. Reeves almost took the step. He was yeah. expecting Doolittle to turn around. He didn't. From the elbow. If Oklahoma's coming back, you feel like Reeves has to get hot. He has to, but I think they got to get Doolittle. Let him be the decision maker. If he doesn't have it, he can always get that jumper or dribble drive by Reeves. Good hands. Nice work in the post by Alondis Williams. And then Doolittle poked free by Denzel Mahoney. Heads up play. Zagorowski. And the team's exchanging turnovers yeah. right now. He expected 
Alec to get over there. I think the, he maybe thought the ref was Alec. He would have had a beautiful open look, too, if he hit it directly. Sooners just two for 11 to start this second half. Doolittle inside doing some work, and he's still down. Well, you can see that was a call by Line on the sideline. Uh, hopefully he's okay. I don't think they have to look at this. Oh, the damage was done from the floor, I think. I think I think you might be right. No, nope, we're gonna look. Yep. It's the the pulling of the arm. Mahoney caught him right there. A hook and hold kind of a great the 34 is second, second foul on Mahoney. And they're gonna look at this to see if it warrants anything additional. You know, a lot of the college kids watch the NBA games and they do some of the things that are permissible. In that league where they can wrap their arms sure. around them. They knew right away he had the size differential and that's what he's looking at. He held at. them nice though. I like I mean they can call it, but I thought he held them nicely. Flagrant one, I believe, yep. is gonna be the call yep. here. I think you're right. But even the end of a Mahoney gonna let him fall. Fans don't agree. I, I think it's a right call. The emphasis, of course, is on player safety and a way to try to prevent injuries from occurring on the court. That's why this is a flagrant one. I don't think the crowd agrees with this. No, no. <laughs> So 56 43, the score when the F1 was called. We'll see if that changes that anything in this game. Yeah, champ, big, big turn. Doolittle with 17 now after the two free throws. There's that flex that they like to run on the out of bounds play. Pretty good reaction. Uh, Crane worked hard defending this. Look at this mismatch. Great help. And that's a travel. That's just great hustle by Alexander. They scrap and scramble. We talk about unselfish play on the offensive end by Crane. Uh, but they are unselfish on this end. A late break to come and help your partner. A little shuffle. A little frustration as well. Mahoney was a part of that. Greg McDermott told us earlier today he really thinks that this is a young man who can be really good defensively as he continues to progress here with the Blue Jays. I, I, just the length, the quickness, the strength, the baseline bump. He's been driving much better too, Ballard. Ballard with the three. Where are you on that play? Just a hill. Battle inside by Jefferson to keep it alive. Now he stepped, stepped out of bounds. That's that same look. He came the wrong way, though. He wasn't sliding. And he's right in, He's going on that side. There's that foot out of bounds. Could have been a walk, too. He caught it and then stepped. Reeves with a little heat check. And the three from the eight-point game. They won't go away. And they can score in bunches just like crazy. They are a confident, well-coached team. Zagorowski. you got to contain your own or you're going to get punished. Shot clock at 10 as Alexander tries to answer the rebound for Williams. Watch Reeves quickly, likes to freeze and shoot it. And there's a foul call on Alexander. Three free throws coming and then a technical assess to Reeves. Why, though? Was he begging for the call and said something? <laughs> well, that is unusual. Well, you don't you see that. You get the call. And then you get teed up. Did he make contact with anybody? Maybe when he came down, he pushed because his back was towards us. 
So they call the foul on Alexander. Well, he did invade the defenders. Well, maybe the call was against him for invading the defender. Been. Technical foul. Technical foul, yeah. You can read the lips there. And, of course, the T side helps as well. Yeah. Even if you can't read the lips there. So Reeves gets teed up. The foul on Alexander is his second. He must have either... I don't know which way the call is, though, first. I, I don't get this. I mean, he invaded... Maybe it was called. The only thing I can understand. The cylinder situation? Yeah, then he invaded the defenders. Here we're going to get an answer. I got a common foul on the three point shot. Okay, that here. This is three here. Then we've got a dead ball contact technical foul against the ball from Oklahoma. I'm just saying we shoot two down here and then Craig's going to get the ball inside. Wow, dead ball technical foul. And a common shoot, foul on the shooting three. Shoot, he'll shoot the three. So three to the other end, and Craig gets the ball. Yeah. As you might imagine, the crowd is not happy with this. 80% free throw shooter Austin Reeves. I really didn't get that. If anything, a little bit well. Well, the foul was called immediately, as was the technical. Now, maybe James Ritty thought he maliciously attacked him facially. So now we'll move to the other end for two more free throws, and then Creighton will have the basketball. I just thought it was, you know, try to initiate contact, which is something Reeves does. You got to pick him up early. Wow. Both coaches, I'm sure, are shaking their head on it. So now the technical foul shots. Reeves invaded the space. Correct. So, okay, you make the call that it's a three-point shot, but I, I just don't understand, you know, why the T... If he didn't say anything, I don't think it was a, an act that was something that would be punishing. Well, if he's the one who incited the contact in the three-point shot, you could call an offensive foul well, that, that, that way. That, that's a, what I thought was going to happen, and he was upset about it. So it ends up being a one-point swing, essentially. Seven-point Creighton lead, the Jays with the ball. Doolittle can go nice back cut. They uh, so good at the dead ball plays. And look at the ooh, nice save by Doolittle. Reeves wants it. Manic hits it. Manic hits it. Again, a lapse defensively. You know how good he is from deep. It is a four-point game in Omaha. Zagorowski. He's got a flat shot. Nice hands underneath. Sooners back to work again. Reeves trying to cross over. He's open. Reeves attacking. Lost it on the he left. Lost an offensive foul. No, went off his leg. Just went, off his leg. He lost it. You were right. Well, he is so good going to his right. Boy, explosive. Sets you up. Now Ron Kruger will go to the bench. Victory Walker in. Christian Doolittle will leave, trying to get him a little extra time smart. before the under 12. Very smart. He expends a lot of energy. There's so many things for this club. He is impressive. One thing these fouls exchanges have uh, done is brought this crowd right back into it here in Omaha. Jays have gone a little cold, no field goals in almost four minutes. They're better when they move side to side with the ball, then attack, and then kick. Jalen Hill attacking. His floater rattles off. E. Walker trying to tip it in, and ballot clears. 
Dangerous once he gives it up. Mahoney fouled on the way in. Uh, Ballard is so good. He had slipped to the corner, was going to be open and get a look. Sooners are back in this one. Manic with the defensive play on one end, and then Brady Manic with the three on the other. Sooners back within four in Omaha. A 12-2 Oklahoma run of the Sooners right back in at 58-54. No surprise to Lon Kruger. He's seen almost everything in his coaching career that has spanned a long and winding road. 1982, he was a Texas Pan American. Michael Jackson's Thriller album was I thought, released. I thought they were classmates when I first saw that shot. But they may have been. Kansas State in 1986, Lon Kruger, not the heavyweight champ of the world. Mike Tyson, the heavyweight champ of the world. He knocked out Trevor Burbeck in the second round. Steve Henson there alongside him. 1990, Lon Kruger, the head coach at Florida. The web starts up and running. Our lives would never be the same after that. Well, for some people. Audie, Audie goes to Illinois. 1996, Major League Soccer begins play. DVDs debuted in Japan in 1996. He stops by Atlanta for two and a half years, and the last new Peanuts comic strip was written. The two were not related. To UNLV, Facebook launched. Lon Kruger had to put down every stop he'd been so his Facebook friends would know. And then Oklahoma, 2011, with the final space shuttle mission. And they dribble out of bounds. And a turnover right away for the Blue Jays. Well, Lon Kruger's been a lot of places. I'm not sure he drew that play up out of bounds to get the turnover. But his team within four and a 12-2 run since the flagrant one foul. Williams attacking Ballack and he gets to the rim and Oklahoma within two. Boy, this kid has really shown some stuff today. And the Big East Big 12 battle is becoming a real battle here in Omaha. That's looking tough. Foul before. A little dribble drive. You've got to see a little more of that in Creighton. I think you can't just rely on straight set up threes. Make a little crack in the D, make people move a little bit. Second foul on a Walker. Ballard, the deep lob, and it's tipped away by Jalen wow. Hill on a foul. foul. That's number two on number one. Zagorowski rubbing his leg, too, when he went down. Pretty good effort defensively. Oh, just saying no foul. Nope, they gave Hill the foul. Oh, they second. did, yeah. This thing is starting to heat up a little bit. It is. Yeah, both sideline and on the floor. We talked earlier about what a big game this is for both of these teams. Creighton especially has been really building this game this week as their final non-conference resume week. Finals are over, but there are still some tests to take for the Blue Jays here and then at Arizona State over the weekend. And they all count late. they got to be careful. Nice defense here. Four to shoot. Got to hurry. Jefferson with one on the shot clock. It rims out. And it'll belong to the Blue Jays. Nice hustle by Jefferson. He's a little frustrated missing it, but stuck with it. 20 on the shot clock. New rule this year on the offensive rebound. You get 20 back on the clock. They're a little feisty lately, too. They're real competitive. Not cutting sharply. You're moving over there. Here's Zagorowski. Mahoney posting. Mahoney turns and a foul. Now, they, that's something he gives them. A little back to the basket when you can get to the free throw line. We're not going to say shooting. That's number four on Alondis Williams, who has played well. And they are shooting. Nine points in 15 minutes for Williams, but his fourth foul puts a little pressure on Lon Kruger right now. He's athletic, can really put it on the deck. We've seen him blow by, can go left as well. Well, he's the guy they brought in when Jamal Bienemy was struggling a little bit. Now Bienemy returns to the game, as does Christian Doolittle. Manic will get a breather, and Williams sits down with those four fouls. Bienemy's got a good judgment on shot selection. You know, when you're going through struggles, get to the free throw, put it on the deck, be creative, and just don't settle deep. 0 for 5 from 3 tonight for Jamal Bienemy. Three-point game. 
From the 21s on your team, guys. Oh, not a good one, even if it goes in. That, that's a setup. The enemy got the rebound, had it knocked away, and it'll go out of bounds, belongs to Oklahoma. I think they got a foul on this slide, don't they? No. No foul. Ooh. It looked like they were going to get Hill for yeah. coming in, but now just out of bounds to OU. Very fortunate. 13 to shoot for the Sooners. They got the match they want now. This is where I love him with the dribble. Zagorowski trying to stay with him. Nice Double help. comes over. Tyshawn Alexander with the steal. Alexander on the drive, and that'll be a foul. Well, they are so confident, these kids on the perimeter. Alexander, so tough. One of the three guys that rings that bell deep, and yet the ability to put it down. E. Walker with his third foul. Alexander to the line. Seventh team foul on the Sooners, so a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Tyshawn Alexander. On a rare miss at the line. Braden, meanwhile, has gone over six minutes without a field goal. 84% too. Surprising. Reeves to work again. He can make it. Too little to three. He walked the rebound. Oh, that's so effective. An open look on the kick out. E. Walker, alert. The enemy with a spin. Six to shoot. Gonna have to work. He's got range. Reeves lost the ball. Gonna have to shoot it. Look at this rebound. E. Walker doing a heck of a job. Zagorowski out rebounding the rebounder. Oh, what a great effort. Here's Ballot tripped up and a foul. That's what I like about this kid. Knows how to get some attention. Knows they're going to play and run him off the three-point line. But this is... This is NCAA style, isn't it? Everything up for grabs. Christian Bishop back in now for Creighton. Denzel Mahoney will sit down. And Mitch Ballack to the line. 0 for 11 a year ago against Oklahoma. I think he'll like this one a little better. Very much so. Uh, this kid is some talent. Great attitude. You know, Mahoney's going to blend in, though. It's pretty impressive uh, this evening. Uh, but the more they play together, particularly with the lights on. A rare miss at the line there as well. Yeah, two of the best free throw shooters. Here's the enemy. Three won't go. Rebound tipped back to the enemy. And a walk. And Doolittle didn't get a touch that whole set. Got to get him involved. Little tonight, 17 points. 13 rebounds, his eighth career double-double. Houston really plays in a comfortable way and pace. Great attitude out there. Here he is guarding Alexander. Tough match. He's a reset, 13 to shoot. But look how they stretch the defense. He's got to come way out and guard so many areas. Bishop inside and a foul. Boy, Zagorowski's ability to work with the basketball in his hands and find room to get rid of it is something to watch. He puts you on skates, but he really does. He moves you. Moves the body, your weight, your distribution. One more for Christian Bishop. And the foul trouble starting to mount. For Lon Kruger's team, Williams and Iwakura with four, Hill with three. Big concerns when you're not very deep, and they are not. And neither club is. How about this guy? Christian Bishop, two for two on that trip. Four for four on the night. Jays back up by six. A little high-low game here with too little. Nice look. Oh, oh got a couple. What a great toss to the rim. Sharif Mitchell will push, and it's out of bounds to Creighton. Mm -hmm. 
We got four guards out there when you look around for Creighton. With so much pressure on anybody a little bit taller. Zagorowski, 15 to shoot. Sean Alexander will try. And Hill with the rebound. Alexander, 5 of 15 tonight. Reeves trying to post. He makes tough shots and forces them. To skip the enemy open for three, and he cannot hit again. 0 for 8 for the enemy tonight. Well, you talked about his ability with the dribble. Stands you up and puts you down. And a Massachusetts the little blow by. He is tough to defend. FS1 College Hoops is sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. And a good one tonight here in Omaha with Creighton leading Oklahoma 62-56 alongside Bill Raptor. I'm Kevin Kugler. Good to have you with us tonight in Omaha, Nebraska. Learn how the American Cancer Society is teaming up with coaches at coachesvscancer.org. Both coaches in this ballgame very involved. Of course, Greg McDermott a year ago was awarded the Champions Award, the national honor within the Coaches versus Cancer program. Of course, Max wife, Teresa, a breast cancer survivor, and Lon Kruger, the man who's at the head of the Coaches versus Cancer Council. And he did a lot in Vegas, as I recall, and continues it in Norman. And of course, Greg, uh, it, it's terrific. You know, they take their time to contribute to society, help others. It's not all about basketball, but right now it is. Right now, Creighton has stretched the lead again to eight in this Big East Big 12 battle. A lot of different faces right now. Williams on the floor, great driver. Four fouls, though. The skip into the corner back out there, Davion Harmon as well. He's very good in that lane, but they've done a nice job standing him up. There's Doolittle from the elbow. He knew it was off, and Bishop the rebound. There's that drag screen they run so well in a replace. Sharif Mitchell. With a nice strong. tap out. Bishop. Nagorowski. Through the hands of Bishop. That one. With the oh. He runs to spaces better than most. He reads and anticipates almost Gretzky like in hockey. A foul going to be called on Mitchell. Just amazing how Balak is so alert, understanding where to go, where to be, and just a great effort here. Do a little nice, nice good one inside, inside, but Balak was there. What a defensive play! Tell you, terrific. He's trailing. Oh, he thought about that for a second. Zagorowski, a little strong, and do little the board. Nice hustle. Bishop. Christian Bishop dive into the floor. Unbelievable. They keep control, too. Amazing hustle. Well, these fans, they respond to these kids simply because they leave it all out there. What a great place. Terrific oh, environment it's tonight. Amazing. The envy of a lot of programs. Creighton by 11. Segarowski <laughs> holding the ball, taking a little exhale there. <laughs> he needs it. Oklahoma's got to match it now. That same type of energy. Do a better job in the defensive rebounding area. Alexander splits. Mitchell. That's his game. A little bit of a floater, not quite the three-point threat of others, but a great read by the little guy. And the 11-0 run reestablishes the 13-point lead. And Reeves bumped by Mitchell. Well, he's doing a great job chest to chest, but the kid is pretty good with the basketball. One and one opportunity here. For Oklahoma. See Paul Lusk over there. He was working on the defense today. Go way back with him. Nice addition to the staff. 
And he spent some time today with Molinari, right? Yeah. He is so delighted to be back with his buddy, Mark Kruger. Run in, no, and a whistle going the other way. Williams, and that's his fifth foul. To Williams is gone. Make the free throw, dude. He doesn't foul. You know, it's like he has played well too. And Tyshawn Alexander, who's got a double double tonight, wrap 15 points and 10 rebounds for the Jays' leading rebounder. But you, the, the guards have to rebound with this team. Everybody's got a team gang rebound. Came in averaging over six boards per game, did Alexander. He's stronger this year, too. Mm -hmm. He had a good summer, boy. All the traveling he did. And that South Big America, the Pan 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 that's right. And then to Australia with the team. There's Harmon. He'll try the top of the key three. And Davion Harmon hits. That's his first bucket of the night. He was really struggling. Nice little sub to get him in. The enemy get a blow. Oklahoma's had a response almost every time tonight. Uh, they're showing a lot. They really are. They step and go. Ball screen again. Agarowski with Ballack in the corner. Good defense challenge and a save again. Bishop, terrific effort, huh? Then he looked to the bench and said, I should have grabbed it with two hands. I saw him he grew like six or seven inches in one spurt. Yep. Uh, he's so agile. Probably can look at this kid handle. Doolittle. Tough shot. Maddox stays with it. And then Zegarowski clears it. They keep coming at you. Maddox was just like, this is a nice match for him. Jarif Mitchell. 18 on the shot clock as he leaves for Zegarowski. Oh, they love the corner. Don't play pool with this team. <laughs> Good. 74 59. Blue Jays rolling in this second half. A 16 to 3 run. Nice deflection by Ballack. Mm -hmm. They are hands deflecting in right position. Just lead of the night for Creighton. Reeves steps through to the rim, the bucket and the foul. All right, really mixed it up nicely. He hadn't gotten left at all. Terrific handle. Has that high bounce, but always under control. That's four fouls on Christian Bishop. Is this a really great setup? Behind the back, the cross in front. Look at that large step to finish the deal. Mahoney back in. Good round of applause for Christian Bishop. 6.7 rebounds in 14 minutes tonight. He gives it all, doesn't he? That's what the applause is for, isn't it? It's for the effort. Great recognition. Three-point play for Austin Reeves. They set him up. I thought they were going to do a little three-quarter. Once in a while, they show 1-2, 1-1. One, one, one. Reeves stepped back on the line. I didn't see whether he got everything over. If everything's over, then he steps back. He's probably saying I was half over. Not a reviewable play, no. so they're going to play on. Give the ball to Oklahoma. It's not the place to dance. No. No, there are better spots on the floor for that. <laughs> Just elevate. Who little does that? Jumper won't nice. go. Jalen Hill strong inside. Can't finish up in there. There's a Walker battling, and Zegarowski takes it away. They are tough. We're talking about their hustle, but they are scrappy, feisty. And then Walker fouls out. They don't back off, do they? There is a little swagger with this great team right now. Especially, and it all starts in the backcourt with Zegarowski. 
just terrific effort, undersized and just wanting it more. And Galindo rip it away. Zagorowski with 16 tonight. They've still got a shot. Zagorowski and Alexander have gone over 20 points each in each of the last two games. Pretty impressive. They're each at 17 tonight. Not since 1985 has it happened in three straight for Craig. So you've been reading your notes. Uh, foul on the three. Well, we've seen a lot of that, that tonight. Four? I think that's, that's four. Five combined five, between yeah. the two teams. Oh, Bishop, just incredible hustle. You've seen the hustle plays tonight for the great Blue Jays from there and in the backcourt as well. Zagorowski and the Jays pacing Oklahoma at home. Creighton with a 76-62 lead. Bill Raptor, it's time for the Lexus playbook. Well, it's not a big X and O. It's basically a ball screen and then over help. We're going to fill in here. We'll give a nice little ball screen here. And watch the defense just overreact. And when you do, uh, misfortune befalls your program. <laughs> Get your feet set over there. Just reach a little. Move that body weight. And the ability to make shots. Drags that D. Marcus Zagorowski was working on that corner three earlier today. And Greg McDermott was going back to back once. He stepped out of bounds. Right. Slide, not step, was the coaching he got. And then a lot of kids catch it back step, which you can't do in that corner. Austin Reeves, one more at the line. He's got 17 tonight. Well, this is going to be a good basketball team, Oklahoma. Just finding their way out. Who can step up? How do we use Christian Doolittle? Key situations. Williams was impressive tonight. It's all three there. He's got 19 now. 76-65. Jay's lead is 11. Zagorowski. Now they really do a nice job trying to tip out, but good check out by Manning. Here comes Reeves. Contested three. Tough shot. Zagorowski out of the board. I don't know about that one. Eight rebounds for Zagorowski. This is where they punish you, too. Push you back. Sharif Mitchell. He'll back it out. Now Zagorowski, that'll be a foul on Reeves. Boy, he is tough, kid. He knew he had the angle. He's got the speed. So they just need a little crack, Kevin. Not much. And they get lower. Protect the basketball. He may run out of time, but Zagorowski's getting into triple-double conversation territory. 17 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists. Another half hour, I'll be doing the same. <laughs> His career high, 9 rebounds. Zagorowski, 18 and 8 tonight. Nice duck in, but just couldn't get the entry to get a kick. Mannix has to do a lot of things in that low post area. This game is sort of perimeter oriented. He's got to wear a lot of hats for this Sooner team. He does. Here he is ducking in again with a mismatch. Doolittle. Oh, he's got a foul, yeah. Looked like he started to slip, and then the foul on Mitch Malik, his third. He had a little belly bump cost him. The kids now, they're trained to look up at them. They want to see if it was right or wrong. You know, he had a turnover the last game. He got in the lane, and he used a pivot foot, and they, he went to an up and under. They called a foul, and he was right. He was explaining to the referee. Crane's done a good job on Doolittle Raft in the second half. Just one for eight from the floor for Doolittle. They have. And, of course, you know, when you're on the top board in terms of talent, they're getting ready for you. So he's going to have to make some adjustments, too. I know he's talented. Find the spot where he can do a lot of damage. Here's that little 2-2-1. Uh, 
And it worked. Forced the turnover. Yeah. First time you see it, and you see for the first time in history, Greg McDermott was going slow down. I've never seen him do that at no. all. I'm not sure he actually knew how. Maybe he's giving the wrong signal. Maybe he's got that flop signal. <laughs> and a bump by Sharif Mitchell. Now, that's not what Creek has any interest in. Send it over no. home to the foul line and to let clock. him chip away with the clock stop. Absolutely. But he is tough with that dribble. Talk about Zagorowski. This kid is really good with the bounce. Mitchell with his fourth foul. And one more for Austin Reeves. He plays with a lot of confidence. One area is when to take the three. I think he has to work on. He can always get some of those threes he gets. There they go again. That one, two, one, one. Got a little trap. This team is dangerous the way they shoot it. Alexander to the rim and drive it. What an adjustment at the rim. He's got 19 to lead the Blue Jays. So he's trying to do it all himself now. Alec the rebound. The clock, the best friend of the Blue Jays right now. That the 11 point lead. But if you gamble, they don't mind going early and taking a shot. This is late in the shot clock from down to 12. Shot clock operators get confused here in Omaha right now. Well, man, I didn't see the ball, and boy, generally you pay with that guy. And a foul is going to be called on Mahoney. He was still working against Reeves down the floor. Kip Kissinger gets him for a foul coming right. up the floor. He's begging. He's telling Greg he grabbed me first. And then he, he goes did. to monitor he again. He did. You know, he held him. That's that same play we saw the other way. This is his first game situation, so emotions are a little bit different. Even the dialogue. And no offense to the folks at Southeast Missouri State, but the atmosphere a little bit different as oh, well. Yeah. The stage a little bigger. Absolutely. Of course, no foul. So just a foul, but nothing more than a common foul. Interestingly. Right? Didn't look a whole uh, lot different uh, than what no. we saw before. It was good at one end. So two shots coming for the Sooners on the other end here with 155 to go. Well, to Greg's point, he's probably saying, look, we're ahead. Don't even get involved. Reeves back at the line. He's 11 of 12 tonight at the foul line. He draws bodies and attention. Seen a lot of free throws tonight. 54 attempts between the two teams. A little switch, but everybody fronting on the inbounds. You got to post up and be strong with the ball. Good pass ahead for Alexander, who pulls it back. That would normally be a shot. Right? Say, earlier in the yeah. game, that ball's going up. They got a lot of handlers on the floor now. Seven to shoot. Megarowski. He'll go to work. Pretty dish to Mahoney. Oh, he drew three and dropped it. Reeves will launch again. Way off. The rebound to Ballot. Four Jays in double figures tonight. As they look for win number nine. And a foul on Reeves. Beautifully run the last time down the floor. Oh, really just gorgeous attention to detail. Being in the right spot. Solid basketball, but the ability to turn the corner and then get yourself to the rim. A great presence of mind. Great vision off the bounce. Well, the big thing, I think, for Lon and Oklahoma now is to get Reeves in concert with shot selection. Uh, where to be, what the clock is, get others involved. Third straight 20-point game for Zegarowski. Manic short on that three, and the Jays 
They're going to start thinking about a trip to Arizona to take on the Sun Devils this weekend with a 9-2 and two record. Unbelievable what they've been able to do. Undersized, shorthanded, but a philosophy that punishes your defense, stretches you, makes you gamble, and they also can put it on the deck and make the deep one. Alexander, a little bit short and do a little the rebound. A bad debut tonight for Mahoney either as he ends up with 14. Doolittle's three goes home. And Oklahoma back within 10. But too little too late for the Sooners tonight. As the Creighton Blue Jays fired up. They're going to walk out of here with an 83-73 win over the Oklahoma Sooners. Uh, it's a statement and they should be fired up. Two good friends. Great respect for one another. But ooh, can Creighton light it up and punish you? And the Big East Big 12 battle tote board gets another notch in the Big East column. Five to two, the Big East guaranteed no worse than a tie in this Big East Big 12 battle. And the Oklahoma Sooners fall short on the road here tonight to the Creighton Blue Jays, 83-73. Creighton with the win. Now let's send it to our Fox College Hoops studio. Here's Rob Stone and the coach, Steve Lack. Kansas, the bank of the Blue Jays, first national bank of Oklahoma, invites you to take the game with you with a free Creighton Visa debit card. 